Hey guys, my name is Sanal Brown Bowers. I'm a grad student in Mount Royal. This is my first year, second semester. And I'm just uh, showing you guys a little studio visit of my studio and what I'm currently working on. So my undergrad is actually in sculpture and drawing and painting. So this semester I've been working on a number of shadow boxes that I'm creating depth and dimension to be able to create different layers. So this painting that I'm working on right now is called Second Chance Letter. And it is awesome so far. I'm excited to get it finished. It's a combination of um, sculpture. I sculpt a um, scooter out of foam, a collage. Um, I use the CNC router to um, cut out the image of me and my daughter Z. And the story behind this is that um, my daughter, which is Z right here, when she was around five years old, she started writing me and my husband these letters called the second chance letters. And whenever she would get on punishment, she would write these letters to plead her case to get off of punishment. So this one is kind of based on her wanting to go to the homecoming, the homecoming football game when she was 16 years old. So that's a copy of the letter right there. So this is kind of um, a comical version of that letter reenacted. And we decided to let her go to the homecoming football game. So this is um, the painting of me and Z. I photographed me, my face and her face, and then I animated it in the computer. Then I printed it, then I go to the CNC router and get the panel cut. The glasses are cut with the CNC router as well. And this is actually sculpted out of foam. And there is a wheel that goes inside of there that actually spins. The shadow boxes are custom made and built by me and Ann in the wood shop. So I basically design all the shadow boxes according to a specific color scheme. So I'll go and pick out like what kind of color theme I want the whole painting to have. And this theme painting was supposed to look like carnival themed. And that's why I did the stripes in the background. And there's a lot of stripe elements in the, uh, the helmets and different things like that. I also like to tie in black, black children joy because I have kids and you know raising kids is awesome. So I like to tie in a lot of children and families into my work. So I um, use a lot of collaged images of vintage families that I found online and then I turn them sepia tone and put them into the background. So that's what I'm doing, collaging those into the lines right here. And some of those are 3D elements as well where I put foam, I put wood underneath it to raise some of the images to make some of them higher and lower. And here, right now, um, we have the hot air balloon with Chili, which is Leia's wiener dog. He's in the hot air balloon. And I made the hot air balloon as well out of foam, wood, um, and different found objects. I cut the clouds with the CNC router, and this is polycarbonate that I spray painted. So I just kind of, I like to combine everything that I love into my artwork, and I don't want to have to not be able to do something. So I enjoy sculpting, I enjoy working with wood, I enjoy painting, I enjoy realistic painting, I enjoy collage. And so this is a way for me to combine everything that I love into my practice without having to sacrifice something, um, because I love building the different layers. And um, the, the ice cream cone is also made out of foam and cotton balls. So um, this is all like, my, my whole process has been like me learning different materials over the years what works, what doesn't work, and what I like to what I like to work with. I also like working with fabric as well. So the clothing on them is actually real fabric that I buy and cut out and different things like that. Um, and uh, the door of the shadow box, which is right here, is uh, something that I recently started doing, which is um, making the the doors to cut out the image of the image that's, that's on the panel. So I use the CNC router to in Illustrator, create the file and cut the image out so that when the when the cover is on there, this image is actually coming forward. It's coming kind of coming out of the box. Um, so I haven't. I'm excited to see what it looks like because at the end when I actually put it together, I get to see like wow, everything how everything kind of looks together. Um, and this was made also. It has a a, a light that's going to be installed inside of it as well um, because I, I like maximalism. I like working with. I like a lot of stuff. So most of my artwork is like crowded and chaotic, but it's organized. And so um, I just like working with lights and sounds and, and textures and, and images. Um, so this one again is um, my second chance letter. Um, so that's a little bit about my process. Most of my stuff are now shadow boxes and altars. 
So I do family altars that are also three-dimensional, but the shadow box has actually helped me to be able to create more um, three-dimensionality and a two-dimensional space. So again, I like enjoying working with paper and different things like that. So this is the letter right here in a little mailbox that I found that I spray painted. And the letter is actually gonna be, I'm gonna do these hearts that are gonna flow throughout the piece. So it's gonna be a lot of paper in this specific piece, hearts that are gonna be flowing. And then the actual letter, the text to the letter is gonna be painted on the plexiglass. So you'll be able to read parts of the letter to get an idea of what, 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 what um, the letter is about or what the story is about. That will be painted on the inside of the plexiglass so you can actually read it on the plexiglass. Um, and I guess I have some more pieces outside which are like the altar pieces that I can show you guys. So out here we have some of the altar pieces, which are, um, most of them are family members or people that I've met that have been inspirational to me. I like to paint the African-American family and experience. And most of my paintings were actually my family members or experiences that I've had, like just raising my daughter. So this is actually my brothers and all of the men in my family. So my brother Hassan is my oldest brother. I have four brothers and my brother, um, Imari, my brother Tahir, my brother Rodney, and um, these are my our grandfathers and, and nephews and dad. So this is kind of like all the men in my family and growing up in, I grew up in Queens, New York and my brothers were always obsessed with karate movies. And so this was like a way of me implementing everything that they love and they embrace growing up um, into a painting for them. And uh, they used to watch this TV show called Hong Kong Fui, which is about a a janitor that used to turn into like a superhero and do kung fu and that was a cartoon that they used to watch so we used to watch that growing up on saturday morning and also they were really big into comic books so a lot of this this painting has to do with just embracing everything that they love and um i like to also well it's not here right now but on the mantles i have different found objects family pictures um different kind of caricatures like pop funko caricatures little karate character just to kind of make the mantle look like very personalized. Um, this one right here is a painting for a book, hopefully for my thesis, my plan is to do a children's book that is a combination of different paintings that I'm working on for the, for the two years that I'll be in the grad program. So this is one of the paintings, um, which is um, my friend Mahari and his two kids. And um, I, again, growing up in New York City, we used to go to Coney Island. So they had a lot of, um, Coney Island was like a carnival. You know, they have rides, different things like that. But also the, the air boat, the, um, the balloon animals were something that we used to get a lot when we were growing up. You know, it was a lot of people on the street selling balloon animals. And so to me, that was like a, a family, a memory that I had as a child that I wanted to showcase in this painting of Mahari's two children. Um, I also like to work with crown molding. So a lot of my frames on the mantelpieces and the shadow boxes are all crown molding that I buy from a website where people buy crown molding for houses. And the crown molding is made out of foam, polyurethane foam, so it's very light. But I'll buy the crown molding and kind of match it according to whatever kind of theme the painting is gonna be. So this painting, you know, with the balloon animals, it's bubbly, it's round. So I made sure that when I picked the crown molding out, it was a crown molding that would duplicate or be similar to the pattern that I'm trying to paint. So the roundness of the balloon animals, I picked the round crown molding. And also I'm really big on color. I think the first thing that I do when I start planning a painting is I, it might sound crazy, but the first thing that I do is I, I pick out colors. <laughs> I love color. So I wanna make sure that each one of my pieces has a specific color pattern and a theme. So. I think about like girls and boys, blue and pink. And so this one, I wanted to do this combination of these colorful, the, all the blues and the greens going into like the pinks and the reds and the oranges. So I made sure that when I picked out the color pattern for this, I wanted there to be an ombre of the hot pink fading into the blue. So this is all spray paint as far as the mantle is concerned. And in the background spray painted and these are hand painted. Another thing is um, just to share with you guys, I do all acrylic on canvas. I do do oil paint, but I just recently started oil painting. I prefer acrylic. <laughs> 
Um, so most of my paintings are acrylic because I, it allows me to work really, really fast. And also the background, all of the background is all house paint. So like, I don't use red, I use golden for the faces and for the skin tones, but for the background, I like house paint because I like how opaque it is. So I'll go to Home Depot and I'll buy the little jars of house paint, which you see in there in my cart. And I'll just buy those because those are like five, six dollars, you know, and they last a really long time. Plus, when you apply them, it's so opaque that you don't really have to add a lot of coats. Um, so I like working with house paint. I really enjoy that. But again, for the faces, I always use a high quality paint. Um, and my process is also like for me to design and do all my paintings because of all the layers and everything. I do a digital. So like I'll photograph him. And then what I do is I decide the background. I'm like, okay, I want to do all these balloon animals. So then I did research online and got like 50 different balloon animals. And then I did a digital in the computer, lay it out of where I want everything to go. And then once I lay it out, then what I do is I print each thing, like the size of the canvas. So he was printed this size, which is like four feet by 30 inches or whatever. I print it and then I lay it down and I use a carbon paper, which is like, a, I can show you guys that too because I get a lot of people ask. The carbon paper is used to transfer the image. Um, and the reason that I work that way is because um, I can hand draw it, right? But who am I trying to impress? Like, why am I hand drawing all of that? <laughs> it's unnecessary. So I don't hand draw. I use this carbon paper, which is you just buy it in a roll, right? It comes 25 feet by like 12, 24 inches, right? And you, you face this down and then you put the image on top and you tape it down and you just use a pencil or pen to trace out the information and then it just transfers the image. So what that does is that helps me to be more accurate where I don't, because I'm doing realism, I need everything to be as sharp as possible. Like if I was to hand draw that, it would take me hours to hand draw all of those little images, right? But when I transfer it with the carbon paper and a printout, I can transfer it in like an hour. So it saves me a lot of time. I'm already putting a lot of time into building the box the mantle, you know, all of the other elements. I don't want to spend 15 hours drawing out all that stuff. So that helps me to be able to work quicker. Um, trying to think what else. So in my studio, I have a comment. I have a whole bunch of things. I have my couch because I like to sleep. You gotta get your sleep, okay? So <laughs> I have my couch, my food time <laughs> for when I want to take a nap. Um, I have, you know, my, um, my shelf right there that has like my glues, my te my tapes, my um, paper towels, my, my blow dryers, my tools. Um, I have a lot of lights in here that I installed because I'm, I'm really big on having good lighting for, be for being able to paint and work um, on realistic paintings. You have to have really good light. Um, so I have my um, brushes, of course. I have my paint rack right here. And then I also have my other paints that I use. So these are the house paints that I use for background, right? Um, that I'm using to paint some of the characters. Um, what else? I have some wood over here in the corner that is leftover wood from um, when I made this box that I can use for like other projects and stuff. And then I have all my craft stuff. So like I work at home and I work at school. So at home, I, I have a whole basement that I work in, um, but a lot of times I, it's hard for me to move the stuff back and forth. So I try to keep everything in one place. So I prefer to work from here, but so sometimes I do work at home as well. Um, so I have a lot of craft items that I work with, like paper, like this is all my papers that I work with for collaging, stacks of papers, you know, foam, different things. I have my foams back there, my wood. I have a jigsaw, I have a Dremel tool. I have my chargers, you know, my, my vacuum because I, it gets dusty in here when I'm working sometimes with the foam. And I like when I'm creating, like I don't have a plan when I do this kind of stuff, right? It's different than the ones that you see outside. Everything, when it's a painting and everything is laid out, I know where everything's gonna go. But whenever I'm working on a piece like this, I don't know where everything's gonna go. It's really like I get in here and then I start playing around and I start making decisions about what I want it to look like. But I didn't have a plan for how I wanted this to come together. It's just certain elements that I knew I wanted to use, which is one thing that I wanted to have a lot of paper. So I wanted it to be a lot of paper. I wanted to use the images inside the stripes. So that was one thing that I knew. I wanted the hot air balloon with chili and then I wanted these three dimensional elements that kind of come back and forth. Um, so that was a little bit about the plan of this specific piece. But 
Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Feel free to email me or send me a message online. If y'all have any questions, I'm not an expert, but I'm still learning everything as well. So if y'all have any questions or need any advice for anything, please let me know. And I just want to say thank you again for this studio visit, for taking the time out to look at this video. And um, thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day.